up though y'all y'all know what time it is it's early in the morning i ain't even yarning i'm cooking up a cake like a <laughs> no i'm just playing what up though y'all today i'm about to do a little shirt oh 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 damn straight up shorty today i'm about to do a little short story time to talk about the time that my uh my stepbrother got pistol with by his uncle so let's get straight to it so i forgot what year it was though but I know I was like in the sixth grade, I was going to Lincoln, yeah, cause my mom had just picked me up from school. So we pull up to the house, her husband outside in the yard going crazy, mad about something, talking crazy though. So I goes in the house and I'm go, I want go upstairs and I'm getting ready to walk past my mom's room to go into my room and I look in her room and I see my stepbrother laying in their bed. Now I look at him, his head all wrapped up like an ace badge, his ear wrapped up and it's like real big though. So I'm like, bro, what happened to you? He like, he look at me all, he was all weak, he look at me all weak, he lift his head up like, he was all shaking like, make pistol with me. And then his head fell back down on the bed like, boo. So y'all know y'all baby, I actually bust out laughing, and get to rolling though, I'm talking about crying like, wait, wait, like what? Your uncle, he like, yeah. So later on that day though, you know what I'm saying, he, when he finally able to, he came to a little bit, he able to function a little bit. I asked him like, bro, so like what happened though, bro? He like, he had school, he was going, he was at Northern, like in the ninth or tenth grade, he was at North, going to Northern, Pontiac Northern, and um, he, he get called down to the office. So he says when he get down to the office, it's his uncle in the office, down there checking him out of school. All right, wait, so let me tell y'all something before I get to the rest of the story. So, y'all know when you young, when we young, we all do stupid stuff, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you a teenager, you young, you growing, you finding yourself, you do stupid stuff. Now, his uncle always had like a whole bunch of money, like a lot of money, he always did. He still get money to this day. And at his mama house, he used to always have money just like laying around though. So my stepbrother decides to take some of the money one day. So boom, let's get back to the story. So. He says it's his uncle down, down in the office checking him out of school. Now he said his head, he kind of knew that his uncle knew, but he didn't want to tell on himself just in case he didn't, so he ain't say nothing. So he said he checks him out of school, he said they leave the school, and they go around the corner to uh, to Altadonna's. He said his uncle had ordered him a little breakfast sandwich or whatever. So he said they leave there. Now they riding around on like Melrose Street over there by like Skywood, Melrose, and Emerson and all that in that area. Cause that's where uh, my brother got my brother grandma lived at anyway, which was his uncle's mother. And then he had a, his uncle had a couple girlfriends that lived over there and everything anyway. So boom, he said they riding around over there. He said all he know is his uncle while he driving get to cussing him out like yeah you stealing from me get to hit me while he in the back seat. He was in the back seat because T Bone was in the passenger seat. Rest in peace T Bone too. He said uh, he get to hit me while he in the back seat. Boom boom. So he said you know he a kid so he said he panicked. He, hop, he hops out the car and get to running. So I'm like, damn, so you got to running? Well, how you ain't get away? You ain't hit no fence or nothing? But then he was like, he had on, um, you know how we used to dress with the big Jabot jeans, with the uh, Tims, with the flappy tongue, with the big Averex jacket, with the book bag. And his book bag used to be hella heavy. He used to have so many books in his book bag. So he said, he was always a big dude anyway. So he wasn't gonna get that far. So he said, he hop out, try to run. I'm like, he said, his uncle done whooped around the corner on him, then hopped out the ride like, you move I'ma shoot you. He said he ain't never see the gun but he knew his uncle always had one. So he said he stopped plus he said he was tired anyway so he stopped. So he said his uncle walked up to him got the said knee boop said beaking him up piecing him though. He said that uh he said next thing you know his uncle just had the gun in his hand he said he just smacked him with it. Boom he said he hit him with it boom and he fell like boom and he said his uncle kicked him his uncle kicked him a couple more times while he was on the ground like uh, uh. I got to roll anymore. I'm like, bro, he, he kicked you while you was on the ground too. I get to roll anymore. So he said he kicked him a couple times while he was on the ground. Then he it was a log right there. He said he picked him up and hit him with it. And he said after that, the next thing he remembered was his daddy waking him up and he took him to the hospital where he got his ear stitched up and his uh, head wrapped up. And then he had took him home to our house. And that's where I walked in the house and I seen him at when I got out of school. So. That was the time that my brother got pistol with by his uncle. It always shows you, don't be touching stuff that ain't yours.